Yeah, I mean, one person that was really key in this was Z. She kept saying, we're fine, we're fine, we got it, we got it. Um, just trying to calm everybody down a little bit, and we, we were just turning the ball over a little too much there, and those times we were down, because we were really anxious. But I think a lot has to do with the fact that we've been in, we've been down in games, we've been up in games, we've gone through every scenario so far this season, which has been a, a bad time, bad thing sometimes, and a good thing sometimes. Um, but I don't think there's a scenario we haven't been through yet, and so they've learned to have to play through things. Um, so I think they did a really good job. No. I think they're going to be a really good team pretty soon because they that the uh, is it Rangy? I don't know how to say her name. She's she's she transferred from Minnesota, so she's a really good player. And they have a lot of um, different options off the bench. Obviously, they have a new coach and new system, and it took us till February to get ourselves going. And I, I told our team before we played, and they had never played them before, so they didn't really know. I said, this is a scary team to me because they're close in every single game, and they've competed in every single game, and they're going to figure out the system and be more comfortable in the system. Um, and she's doing a good job coaching them. So, you know, even though their record is 0-3, they're they're gonna they're gonna figure it out really quick, and they're gonna compete with some teams in our league. And um, we, I'm glad we only had to play them once. Obviously, the schedule is a little different of who we've played, but we did a great job with Temple. We did a great job with SMU, and now obviously Wichita State. Um, but I think it's the, it's the scheduling up we did for our preseason and in the, the games we played. We played really tough competition in the preseason, and that's kind of what we wanted to do. Uh, we didn't want to wait till February to you know, get it going again. And so I think that was, it, it, sometimes it wasn't fun losing those five games um, in the preseason, but it's going to help us in the long run. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I knew that this is the way she was going to play when we recruited her. It just takes a while. It takes it in L'Oreal too. I mean, it's just taking them a while to kind of get a feel, just like Wichita State's trying to get a feel for how it's going to go. And, uh, um, you know, now we're running a lot of sets for her and, um, and they want to get her the ball. And you can tell she's a lot more confident and obviously she's been in the weight room and she's a lot stronger than when she first came in. So, you know, it's been great having her and her really stepping up. She's stepping up for uh, Tolu and Fifi, I mean, big time, right? And so, you know, what helps her the most, I think, is that Z can score, Aaliyah can score, KK can score, and then you got Moss. So now you got four players on the floor that can do things, and so it really opens her up. If they start doubling her, doubling her you can see she's a really good passer. She can pass out of there. Um, and so we work on those things a lot of time. Um, a lot of times it's just diving fills and getting people open shots. And then, you know, when she kicks it out, she knows she has three people or four people around her that can score. I think it's great because we're going to win more games that way. I mean, it's, that's a lot of pressure on Aaliyah, and she's okay with that, you know. But her and her and her and Z are going to be our dominant scorers all the time because they have that 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 scoring mentality, and you know they just keyed on Aaliyah. Everybody's going to key on Aaliyah all the time, and so the thing I like best about our team now is that if you key on Aaliyah, then you you got to guard Z, and then you got to guard KK, and then you got to guard Moss, you know. And and Nye's been playing really well for us. She just got in some foul trouble this game and she was scoring some good points for us. So I, and, and Thig had some great takes to the basket and L'Oreal coming off the bench. And so we have people that can score the ball, you know, in, in big in numbers and, in, in, um, you know, in double figures. So uh, I think it really helps Aaliyah and it takes a lot of pressure off her. But she was three for 10. So obviously we just got to get her balance on some of her shots. Yeah, I mean, I, we never talk about it and, and I hope they weren't looking ahead because that's, silly because every team and every game is really important and that's all we really talked about was Wichita State so they they know it's coming but they don't we're not even talking about it and I you know I want them to enjoy this win I mean going 3-0 and in the conference ever in this you know American conference is really big I mean that's another little miracle that Aaliyah never accomplished you know why she's been here or Fifi so I mean those things are big and I want them to be able to celebrate those things yeah <laughs> I mean, I don't know. How does anybody in the country prepare for that trip? It's, you know, we just got to, you know, we just got, I just want them to be fearless and play really, really hard. And, you know, and we're going to, we got, we have to take care of the ball. We can't turn the ball over like we did today. That's just, and be careless with the ball and, you know, be just really smart how we guard them. The, you know, the only issue is, is any, if Nye or um, um, Moss get in foul trouble, then we're really small. I mean, you got Thig, who's a two guard playing in the post for us. So, you know, that's that's definitely going to be an issue, but I haven't watched them yet. And obviously, I know they're great and they're huge and, you know, they're UConn. And um, so we just got to go up there and play really, really hard and, and really take care of the ball. And obviously, we've got to box out. Yeah, she's a really good player for them. She had 17 points. That's our average. Her average is 18. So she got her 17, you know, in 37 minutes. And she just, she's very... Um, 
She's very poised. She's very skilled for a post player. She can, you know, shoot three. She can step out. She can post up on the block. She does a lot of really good things for them. I mean, not, I mean, I'll, I hopefully I'll never have to play against her again because she's a senior, right? So, uh, but I, I really, I told her at the end, I said, you're a really good player, like, she, and she really appreciated it. And, you know, I can see she's a little frustrated because they're 0-3 and their record's not great, but if they, and that coach will keep them hanging in there and they're going to win some games. Um, we just regrouped as a team. Um, it was like we had need to focus up. Um, we need to get this. So we just came out with more energy, um, had more energy on the defensive end so we could create offense for our team. So that's basically it. Um, so I think it's, all, it's a team effort because in order for me to be able to score and to do what I need to do, I need to play defense and my teammates need to facilitate and need to assist. So um, we just literally just all work together. So that really helps me and makes me like focus in order to me me to get where I am. Um, you know, they're a driving team and we were focusing more so on their driving. And, you know, they came out here tonight, knocked down some open shots, some threes. So that just means our defense, we have to work on our rotations and pressure the ball better. You know, we just move the ball around, look for the open person, be aggressive on offense, pass the ball in, pass out, just move around. We don't really care who's taking a shot, just as long as, you know, it's that person's shot and, and they can score. Um, it's a great feeling. Well, especially as a freshman coming in, it's a great feeling. But um, I think we just need to stay focused because we're three and zero right now. But we have more games going on, so we just really need to stay focused and worry about the next. Uh, we'll have a couple of days to prepare for them. Um, I know I'm pretty sure our coaches are going to come with a great game plan. So we're just going to wait for this. We're going to enjoy this win right now and then focus on what we have to afterwards.